Welcome, inhabitants of the internet. Thank you guys so much for watching. My name is Josh, and if you have vintage Levi's, you may be wondering what their value is. Well, that's what we're going to tackle in this video. Let's get into it. So the value of your vintage Levi's depends on a lot of different factors. One factor is simply the age. Levi's has been around for 150 years, so there's a lot of options when it comes to how old your Levi's could be. Two is the condition. Is it distressed and destroyed, or is it brand new with its tags and it's been sitting in an attic for years? Three is whether or not it's a particular model. Is it a 501? Is it a 505? Is it a bell bottom? Is it a type two Levi's denim jacket? All of these things factor in to the value of a particular pair. And number four is its size. Uh, like particularly with women's sizes, uh, the smaller sizes tend to be valued more. And large sizes, maybe not as much until they get to an incredible size in which they are rather rare. So all four of those factors really are just sort of subcategories of rarity and demand. Something can be rare, high in demand, therefore the price goes up. Some things can be rare and nobody cares about them, therefore the price still stays low. So those four factors really help determine whether or not your pair of jeans is rare and therefore maybe higher valued or more in demand, therefore higher value. Now we're gonna look at these values by decade working back in time. It's important to note here that there may be outliers here and there to the ranges that I'm giving, uh, but generally speaking from my experience and the research I've done on pricing, uh, this should give you a rough idea of where, generally speaking, the value of your jeans may lie. Now, one last thing before we move on, and that is, of course, you need to know whether or not your Levi's are actually vintage or not, and then how to know what decade they are from. And we can't get into all of those details in this video, but if you'd like to learn more, we have a playlist of a bunch of videos uh, with lots of different methods on dating and how to understand and date your Levi's. All right, now starting with the 1990s, this is the first uh, decade that we can really consider vintage as before this, we don't typically consider it vintage. It needs to be about 20 years old. The 1990s has a lot of different products, uh, namely the 501. The 501 is the flagship model and we'll be addressing that specific model throughout uh, each one of these decades. The 501 in the 1990s ranges somewhere between $30 and $80 depending on all of those variables we talked about before. But the women particularly shine in the 1990s because the models of the 512, the 550, uh, the 912 and the 950, their orange tab counterparts, uh, tend to be the highest priced jeans from this era. And that's because the high rise and tapered slim fits of those jeans is very popular at the moment. You can see prices for those jeans from $50 to $150. Furthermore, Levi's had a line called the Silver Tab line in the 1990s that had a little bit more of an elevated price because they are sort of in demand and popular today. Day, uh, you could see about $50 to $100 for an approximate value for a good pair of Levi's silver tab. Now, Levi's denim jackets from the 90s tend to go for about 30, all the way up to about $75. Then, generally speaking, all other Levi's from this era will typically average between uh, 30 and $80 in value. Now, the 1980s is where this kind of gets pretty interesting because Levi's ended halfway through the 80s, the selvage era. The selvage is a type of denim that was made in the United States that was used to make the 501. Very uh, desired in today's denim market. So 501s from the late 80s tend to go for less than what the 501s from the early 80s would go for. The late 80s uh, 501s go for approximately what their 90s counterparts go for between $40 and $80 depending, but the early 80s 501s go for between $75 and up to $300 or so. dollars. Other Levi's jeans from this era could be seen going for $40 to $80, specifically uh, women's jeans uh, that are in smaller sizes could go up to that 90s number of $150, maybe even more in some cases. Uh, but generally speaking, uh, 80s Levi's can be seen and purchased for between $30 and $80, maybe a little bit trending on the higher side for some of the more earlier uh, models. And here Levi's jean jackets from the 1980s tend to go somewhere in the $40 to $80 range. 
Also, models such as the Orange Tab 505 for men, the Orange Tab 517, and bell bottoms and flare jeans that are sort of a carryover from the 70s all tend to be valued on the higher side. Now, the 1970s was full on Selvage era 501s. These 501s can vary widely in price, specifically as you get closer to the beginning of the decade. And that's because of a couple transitional changes we'll talk about in a moment. But generally with 501s, you can see a range from about $100 for some of the later pairs, all the way up to $800 uh, for some of the earlier pairs and all over that range depending on those factors. General pricing for Levi's from the 70s is approximately $50 all the way to $200 depending on the model. Again, bell bottoms and flares being very valuable and 505s and 517s uh, from the 70s also being sort of along the higher end of that range. Type 3 Levi's jackets also see a little bit of a bump here from the $50 to $100 range, maybe a little bit more depending, but that's generally the range. Now that for that transition I was referring to, and that's called the Big E transition. And that's when Levi's went from spelling their red tab with a capital E to a lowercase e. And this transition happened around 1969 to 1971. So you can see that there is a bridge here of uh, higher valued Levi's jeans from the early 70s and from that late 60s. So the 1960s is also where Levi's tends to start getting rather expensive, seeing prices from $400 all the way to $2,000 depending on the model. There were some variations with different models of the 501, so you might find that particular model that was rare and that has a bit of a higher value. So jean jackets from this era can also range widely uh, from $100 to $300 for some of the later models all the way to up to $1,500 for some of the earlier 60s Type 3 models. Generally, other Levi's from this era tend to start around the $100 mark and work their way up. Now, the 1950s are the prime time for the 501. Some of the most iconic versions of the 501 come out during this time, and they can see prices from $800 all the way to $3,000. This is also when Levi's introduced the Type 2 denim jacket that can go for uh, $1,200 to $3,000 respectively. And generally all other Levi's from this era will start in the hundreds into the thousands. Now as we arrive to the 1940s, there's a particular era during the 1940s that's rather important to Levi's collectors and the value of particular Levi's. And that is wartime or World War II Levi's. And because of the war, there were constraints on supplies and limits uh, passed by Congress. And so the production standard for the 501 changed briefly for these few years during the World War II, such as the arcuate being painted on rather than stitched. And this can lead to a wild swing in prices here. We can see prices for these wartime Levi's uh, into the many thousands, into the tens of thousands. And a type one Levi's denim blouse or jacket as we understand it, uh, can go from anywhere between 2,000 all the way up to 13,000 depending on the factors we've mentioned before. Any other Levi's products from this era will likely go from the very high hundreds into the thousands as well. Now as we arrive to the 1930s, this trend increase will continue as 501s from this era will start to look at the uh, many thousands into the tens of thousands and the early type 1 jackets from this time period will also see a bump from five to 15,000. And we see just about any other Levi's product from this era going, uh, starting in the thousands and working their way up to the $10,000 mark. Now we're gonna take the 1920s all the way to 1900 and combine them. Here we're gonna see pieces start at 10,000 and work their way up into the several tens of thousands. Uh, just about any piece of Levi's at this point is gonna be worth that amount of money. And if you move along past 1900 and into the 1800s, we're starting to talk uh, high uh, five figures, even perhaps six figures. And in the most pristine uh, possibility, uh, with some perhaps of the most uh, historical pieces of Levi's jeans, uh, jean lore, uh, we could see pairs that would be valued at over a million dollars. Unlikely that you'll find Levi's that are worth a million dollars unless you're really digging in some caves and find some pristine models that were preserved perfectly. Uh, but if you do, you know, just remember me. Just remember, that's all I'm asking. Just remember. Little old me, little old loot fam. And again, all of this information is not terribly helpful unless you know 
what era your Levi's are from. So again, I just wanna remind you that we do have the playlist of all the information that uh, we currently have in our library, and we're always adding more. And if you have particular questions about your Levi's, you can send me an email. My email is in the description below, and I would love to see the Levi's you have in question and help you out with uh, figuring out where they're from and how to value them. So thank you guys so much for watching. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe, and we'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.